Logan Kane here, and this is Slinky. You may have noticed I've already done a video on Slinky, but apparently the version on itch.io was old, and the, de the developers decided to contact me, let me know that. So let's try out their up-to-date version, which is available via Steam. Now the first thing I notice is, in the last, in the old version, I was just Slinky running around, and I could jump into, let's see, let's see. All right, so here's the, well, that's disorienting. Okay, anyway, I'd be able to run into this little teleporter thing here, and it was it all looked a bit different, but I'd run into the teleporter thing to continue, or I'd jump on a button on top of it that would delete the game so I could start a new game. This is uh, the hidden eggs. I guess I got to get all the eggs to start a hardcore mode. And then over here is quit, which before you just jumped off the edge. I kind of liked it the way that it was before, but I understand why they changed it. Anyway, let's go ahead and start a new game. Can't do hardcore mode, so let's do normal. Here we go. Guess that's a little bit of a loading screen, maybe? I don't know, it took a while to happen. Or maybe that was, oh, we're deleting your old save, and here's a new one. Right away, everything looks a little better. Just look at the, look at the, I don't know what that's called, the arm hammer thing. His little prosthetic arm. Look at that. It looks way better than it did before. It's beautiful. But anyway, the the tutorial level, it's been a while now, I don't remember, but it, it feels like this is different than I did before. Let's see what's up here. Can I go over? Of course I'm going to check out what's over here. It's probably going to be nothing. Well fine, then I'll check out what's over here. Still nothing. Okay. That would have been a great place for an Easter egg, right in the tutorial? Well, anyway. Let's keep going. So, if you didn't watch my previous video, well, this is Slinky. You run around, jump around. It's a hard platformer, I guess. It seems easy at first, but it definitely gets harder in the later games. Later levels, rather. And that, I never did anything like that again to get through something. I did beat this game already, the old version. So let's keep that in mind. But for the most part, it feels the same, but I just get this feeling that, oh. Okay, so do I do it this way? Alright, those guys are pretty much the same. I think the models look a little better. I'd have to take a look and actually compare it. But things are definitely, I feel like they look better. Everything feels like it's more refined or something. I don't know, it's hard to explain. But yeah, basically it to Slinky. But it's a ton of fun. Really, really hard at the end. Uh, Sunday I should have a review up of Slinky. Which is based on the old version, but I'm going to play through this one to give them a fair review on their more recent things. What does that say? Is that just telling me to do that? Yeah. I remember this. This feels pretty much the same, but slightly different. I don't know. I guess that's what I should expect from a slight. Well, I don't know. It could be considerably newer version. I don't. I didn't actually check the version numbers. Heck, I'm actually not even sure how to check the version numbers on Steam. But anyway, this is Slinky. Go around trying to find out what happened to our beloved forest. Why everybody's all evil. But what feels really weird about it to me is that I think I'm a robot. Maybe I'm not a robot. Certainly looks like a robot. I think this is different. Let's see, anything over... Nope, nothing... Wait, can I go that way? Yes, I can. What's this switch do? What is this? This is very... Okay. Well, now I have to do this. If I take too long, I'll just fast forward through this. I mean, this is a platformer. I'm pretty good at platformers, but I'm not the best. It might take me a few tries even to do something this simple. Nope, nope, I got through it. So what does that do for me? Okay. Now this looks like a place I was before. In the, in the old version. This looks very familiar. Like I did something backwards. Oh, look at that! Look at that, the tutorial level, they do have an easter egg, that's awesome. 
it's just more hidden than I'm expecting. I try and look around at things like it's hidden Mega Man X style, but it's hidden... Yeah, I don't know any games that hide things really well that matter. And I guess this one now. Whoa, get, suffering a little bit of frame rate issues here. I don't know why. Am I plugged in? Yeah, I'm plugged in. Alright. Take out these bastards. Get on up here and see what's going on. Yep. Good old standard platforming. Oh, and those things are continue points, so if I die, I'll come back to them. And maybe I'll do a Let's Play of this. But this game is... I don't know. It seems like it would be pretty awful to watch me fail countless times. Now, is that... I was actually thinking, this game reminds me a little bit of Dark Souls. Not in that it's incredibly hard and fighting monsters and continuously doing that over and over again, but in the aspect where every time I die, I feel like I'm doing a little bit better. And that's really all we can ho hope for in Tough as Nail games. And I really want to know what Hardcore Mode is. Maybe it means I can't die. Maybe that's all it is. But anyway, this was just a little update video to show that the game does look a little bit better. Things are more coherent. Um, the developer sounded like he was much more proud of where it is now than it was then. He also said that they will be dealing with the, the itch.io. Hopefully, they'll be able to stay with itch.io, because I hate being in Steam and then have Steam crash and then but buy game. But things like that just happen randomly, especially the way I do things. But anyway, that's it for this video.